Hey kids, we've looked at two good examples. This video is going to show what a bad example for a submission for the create task. This is going to be sample J from 2018. This document comes right from the AP Computer Science Principles Past Exams website, and it is letter J. In this video, we're just gonna quickly run down how they got the score of one of eight. Let's start the video by watching their program. Let's take a quick moment and look at the annotated sample. As you can see here, this was scored a one out of eight. They got one point on row one, and we'll have a discussion about how that was a very generous one point. And then they didn't receive another point on any other row. Let's see how they arrived at that by looking at what the student wrote. 2A consists of two parts, one a video, the other a written component. The written component has to identify the program language, identify the purpose of the program, and explain what the video illustrates. Looking at the checklist here, the video does run continuously. It is less than 60 seconds, and I'm gonna assume it was also less than 30 megs. And the video does demonstrate a feature running of the program. The second part here, the written response, the student identifies the program language used. They did not. The student identifies the purpose of the program. They kind of did. Describes a feature shown in the video and their connection to the program. No, it does not. This was a very generous one for 2A row one. Let's look at 2B. 2B, describe the incremental and iterative development process of your program, focusing on two distinct points in that process. Describe the difficulties and or opportunities you encountered and how they were resolved or incorporated. In your description, clearly indicate whether the development described was collaborative or independent. At least one of these points must refer to independent program development. Let's look at our checklist here. Does the response describe the overall development process? Really describes coming up with a theme, not really the coding. Does this response indicate whether they completed independently or with a partner? It actually did. Does it have a first difficulty? Kinda, but again, that was more based on the theme of the program, not so much the code. Did the response describe a source of difficulty? Again, on a theme, not on the code, and did the response indicate how that was incorporated into the final program? Again, not really. And at best, and being very generous at best, they have one difficulty slash opportunity not to. In 2B, row two and three would not receive a point. Moving down to 2C, capture and paste a program segment that implements an algorithm marked with an oval, and that is fundamental for your program to achieve its intended purpose. This code segment must be an algorithm you developed individually on your own, must include two or more sub-algorithms, and must integrate mathematical or logical concepts. Describe how each algorithm within your selected algorithm functions independently, as well as in combination with others, to form a new algorithm that helps to achieve the intended purpose of the program. So this one, we need a large algorithm and two sub-algorithms that all needs to be labeled. If you look over here at the code, 
This is not even an algorithm. This is an on event and it has no mathematical or logical component. Neither does it identify any subparts, probably because there are no subparts, or the main algorithm. This right here is exactly what you do not want to do. Remember, mathematical, greater than, less than, equal to, plus or minus, or logical, if else statements. Those need to be included. Without those, it will not get a point. Let's look at the written code here and compare that with the checklist. First, did the student indicate they wrote the program? No. Does the response include a copy-pasted version of the code? It does, but it is not for a main algorithm with a sub-algorithm, nor are there any ovals around anything. Response includes copy-pasted version of the code of the main algorithm and sub-algorithms with ovals around them. And the response identifies the selected algorithm, the parent one, and the two sub-algorithms. This one does none of that, so it gets no point there. Looking at the written part for algorithm one, clearly identifies the code for the algorithm. It does not. Explains what the algorithm does independently. It does not. Describes how the code of the algorithm works. It does not. Does it use mathematical or logical concepts? It does not. In addition, there is no algorithm two, just algorithm one. And under the selected algorithm, it does not clearly identify the code for the selected algorithm. It does not describe how the selected algorithm combines included algorithms, nor does it explain how the selected algorithm helps to achieve the overall purpose of the program. For 2C, they wouldn't get any credit for row five, six, or seven. Let's look at the final part, part 2D, the abstraction. This says capture and paste a program code segment that contains an abstraction you developed individually on your own, marked with a rectangle. This abstraction must integrate mathematical and logical concepts, and then explain how your abstraction helped manage the complexity of your program. This again has two parts, a part you copy and paste in, and a written component. Up here, if we look at the copy and pasted algorithm in, this is not a function, this is just on event, these are just a series of steps. This is 100% not an abstraction. In fact, just the code they copy and pasted from above in block form. To fix this code, it'd be tough. It would be easy to put it into a function, simply have a call, maybe next button, that still doesn't take care of that this has no mathematical or logical components. So even if they put it into a function, this would not get points because it does not have any mathematical or logical concepts. Let's take a look at the written part here against our checklist. Does it say that you wrote the abstraction code? No. Does the response include a copy and pasted version of code for the abstraction? Well, there's a copy and paste. It isn't the right code, and it definitely isn't an abstraction. Does the response identify the abstraction by name? It does not, because it's not an abstraction. And does it explicitly describe how the abstraction manages complexity? It does not. It just says it goes to the next question. Well, there you go, kids. That's how you get a 1 out of 8 on the create task. Hopefully you learned a little of what not to do in this video and things to avoid. As always, if you have any questions, please come see me. Good luck.